Okay, if we're given that sine of x is negative 1 6 and the tangent of x is negative, it's less than 0, then we want to find all the remaining trig functions. We're going to need to start with our trig identities hexagon and the leftmost vertex gets labeled tangent. Then we use the quotient identity to fill in the sine divided by the cosine and reciprocal identities um, go diagonal, so the reciprocal of cosine is secant, the reciprocal of sine is cosecant, and then the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent, and in the center we put a 1. Okay, then we'll change colors and put in our given information. So the sine of x is negative 1 6. We'll put that over here in this corner um, in green. And right away we can get the reciprocal then. Um, reciprocal of negative 1 sixth is negative 6, and that'll be the value of the cosecant. And um, that's all the further we can get uh, until we use a Pythagorean identity. And since I don't like fractions all that much, I'm going to use the Pythagorean identity 1 squared plus, or, um, yeah, 1 squared plus cotangent squared x here in this corner is equal to the cosecant squared x down in this corner. And then we can substitute in negative 6 for the cosecant and square that. 1 squared is just 1, so we'll have 1 plus cotangent squared x equals negative 6 quantity squared. And we'll move that 1 to the other side by subtracting. Um, negative 6 times negative 6 is 36, and then minus 1 is 35. So cotangent squared x equals 35. When we square root both sides, cotangent then is the square root of 35. But since um, it tells us up in our given information that tangent is negative, um, cotangent must also be negative because they're co-functions, and so that cotangent will be a negative square root of 35. And we'll put that on our trig identity hexagon. Okay, so I'll make some more room here to do the rest. Now that we know the tangent, oh, I think that was the cotangent actually, negative square root of 35 was cotangent. So now that we know the cotangent, we can go ahead and use that to get the tangent because those are reciprocals. So we're going to get a negative square root of 35 and take its reciprocal. And then we'll need to rationalize that denominator by multiplying the top and the bottom by root 35 over root 35. And then that equals negative square root of 35 over 35 for the tangent. Next, let's go ahead and try to find the cosine. Um, the cosine, it's left and right of um, sine and cotangent, and we know those values. See how it makes a hinge? And remember, those are the ones that make product identities. So if we use that product identity, cosine of x is equal to sine of x times cotangent of x, we can substitute in negative 1 sixth for the sine. That was given. And then cotangent, we found, was negative root 35. And when we multiply those together, a negative times a negative is a positive square root of 35 divided by 6 for the cotangent, or sorry, for the cosine. So root 35 over 6. And then the last one that we need to find is secant. And you could do uh, the reciprocal identity if you wanted to and, um, and evaluate that, rationalize the denominator. Or um, I'm just going to go ahead and do another product identity here since it makes a hinge. So secant of x is equal to the product of the tangent times the cosecant. The tangent was negative root 35 over 35, and cosecant was negative 6. A negative times a negative is a positive 6 root 35, and then that's over 35. So the secant is 6 root 35 over 35, and then we found all 
of the um, trig functions using the identities hexagon. Okay, hope that helps.